Hello and welcome to lecture 10 of this basic barista course. Today we will discuss about some alternative brewing methods. So let's get started. We've about brewing with an espresso machine, but there are many other methods. We'll go over some important and popular alternatives to brewing that you should be familiar with. We will discuss the following brewing methods today. French press brewing. Mocha pot. Cold brewing. Aeropress. As we know, in brewing coffee, hot water acts as a solvent, washing soluble solids out of the coffee grinds and into the brew. This soluble solid contains oils, which carry extract and flavor into the cup of coffee. Brew methods that use paper filters, only have soluble solids in the cup, but some brew methods allow insoluble solids to enter the brew, like the French press, espresso, or Turkish coffee. French press brewing. The French press method of brewing is one of the simplest. The following elements are required for French press brewing. French press. 20 grams of ground coffee. 240 milliliters of water at 94 degrees Celsius. Scales. The following are the steps to follow for a French press to brew coffee. Add 20 grams of coffee. Pour 40 milliliters of hot water. Stir it 10 times and leave it for 30 seconds. Pour the remaining water. Add the lid and leave for 3 minutes. Stir a few times until the grinds fall to the bottom. Then, very slowly, plunge over 1 minute. Serve straight into cups, to avoid over extracting Mocha coffee. pot brewing. A mocha pot is a brewing device that creates, a strong coffee concentrate. Coffee is created from a combination of steam pressure, and an external heat source, which pushes water through coffee grinds. A boiler, filter basket, and collection chamber are the three major parts of a mocha pot. The following elements are required for French press brewing. Mocha pot 12 grams coffee 100 milliliters water at 30 to 40 degrees Celsius Scale The following are the steps to brewing coffee in a mocha pot. Fill the lower chamber of your mocha pot with 100 milliliters of warm water. Insert the filter basket into the lower chamber. Fill the filter basket with 12 grams of coffee. Connect the upper and lower chambers with screws. Cook on medium heat until you hear a gurgling sound or see the water finish bubbling through. Pour into your cup right away. Cold brew. A cold brew involves the steeping of coffee grounds at room temperature or in cold water, which takes about 12 to 24 hours on average, and results in a richer and smoother taste than that of a hot brew of coffee. The following elements are required for cold brewing. Vessel. Cling wrap. Filter. 100 grams coffee in cold brew grind. 1 liter of filtered water, at room temperature. Scale. The steps for cold brewing are as follows. Place your coffee grinds into your vessel. Pour in half the quantity of water and stir. Pour in the remaining water, and stir once more. Leave at room temperature with a lid or wrap. After 16 hours, strain through a filter. Refrigerate. Aeropress. It is a manual coffee maker, that uses pressure to brew a cup. The Aeropress is very handy and portable, and the final product is similar to espresso. You'll need the following to use the Aeropress method for brewing. Aeropress. Aeropress filter. 17 grams of coffee. 230 milliliters of water at 90 degrees Celsius. Scales. Aeropress brewing involves the following steps. Add 17 grams of coffee. Add 80 milliliters of 90 degrees Celsius water. Stir a few times to wet all the grinds, and leave for 20 seconds. Add the remaining water and vacuum seal the Aeropress. After 90 seconds, press down evenly and gradually, for 30 to 50 seconds, until you hear a hissing sound. Stay tuned, I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any queries, do some googling or contact me on my email id.